Câu lạc bộ truyện tranh ghi chú của tác giả xin chào. Cảm ơn vì đã quan tâm đến cuốn sách của tôi, tôi thực sự đánh giá cao nó. Nếu bạn có thể, có thể để lại bình luận bên dưới cho tôi biết bạn có thích nó hay không và tôi có thể cải thiện như thế nào. Tôi hy vọng bạn vui, chuông tan học vang lên, mọi người đều rất hào hứng cho ngày cuối tuần, đặc biệt là Emmerich, mặc dù không có việc gì phải làm, nhưng anh ấy yêu những ngày cuối tuần vì anh ấy có thể thoát khỏi người chị em sinh đôi phiền phức của mình, Don. Emmerich chỉ trò chuyện với bạn bè của mình qua Hangout và Messenger trên iPad cả cuối tuần. Don đã bị cuốn hút về một ứng dụng có tên là On The Go Art. Cô ấy có thể tạo ra những câu chuyện và bức tranh đẹp đẽ như một thứ mà cô ấy đã tạo ra có tên là nghệ thuật thiết kế. Thường thì mẹ anh ấy sẽ nói, các bạn, hãy tháo thiết bị của mình ra, hôm nay là một ngày đẹp trời, hoặc đó không phải là những gì chúng tôi chuyển đến Mỹ. Những người bạn của Don, Juliana và Skylin đôi khi đến và vẽ hoặc viết. Skylin là bạn thân nhất của Don kể từ khi họ gặp nhau. Skylin thậm chí còn giỏi hơn Don trong lĩnh vực nghệ thuật. Juliana thực sự rất giỏi trong việc viết chuyện, vì vậy họ đã cùng nhau thành lập câu lạc bộ truyện tranh cùng với một vài người khác. Ngay sau đó, anh ấy nghe thấy tiếng đinh từ iPad của mình. Michael Sumin The Storybook Club, Author's Note, Hello. Thanks for having interest in my book, I really appreciate it. If you can, maybe leave a comment below telling me if you enjoyed it or not, and how I can improve. I hope you enjoy, the school bell rang. Everyone was so very excited for the weekend. Especially Emmerich. Although he had nothing to do, he loved weekends because he could get away from his annoying twin sister, Dawn. Emmerich just chatted with his friends over hangouts and messenger on his iPad all weekend. Dawn was fascinated about an app called On The Go Art. She could create beautiful stories and pictures like one she made called, The Art of Design. Often his mother would say, get off your devices, guys, it's a beautiful day out, or, that's not what we moved to America for, Dawn's friends, Juliana, and Skylene would sometimes come over and draw or write. Skylene had been Dawn's best friend since they met. Skylene was even better at art than Dawn. Juliana was really good at writing stories. His friend Michael and his and his sister's friend Skylene were there. She really wanted to talk to Michael but it was very embarrassing. He wished he had gone on the soccer field earlier. He really wanted to pick up a new hobby instead of just staring at his iPad screen all day. He also really wanted to be friends with Michael and not be embarrassed with him anymore. Dawn and Skylene got together right away and talked about stuff like art and writing. Emmerich and Michael stood together in silence. They really just wanted to go home. But they couldn't because Michael's home was on the other side of town so he couldn't just walk. The two 11-year-olds stood in front of each other not saying a single word. So Emmerich, how are you? Michael said, trying to break the silence. Great. How are you? Emmerich asked him, also great. Michael said, and perked up. What do you want to do? I got a new game system for Christmas. Me and Dawn love the game Super Mario World. Emmerich said. Cool, let's do that. Michael said, Emmerich set up his new Nintendo Switch and hooked it up to the TV. He pushed the button to turn it on and then opened up Super Mario World. Just as they were about to beat a level, Skylene peeked into the room and said, If you guys want to write the story for us, that dash, nope. Emmerich interrupted. Michael groaned. The screen read, Game over. Michael, you were just about to win. What happened? Emmerich asked. Skylene distracted me, he muttered. Skylene looked hurt. I, I just want you guys to take up a new hobby like writing, not staring at the screen all day, Emmerich glared at her. We are perfectly content here. You and Dawn can go do your art. Skylene walked away, head down. Michael turned to Emmerich. You might be been a little hard on her. She's only nine, after all, Emmerich looked at Michael in disbelief. Did he really want to not do video games? At all? Did he really want to write a book with his sister and Skylene? Emmerich shook his head. Michael was probably just defending his sister. 
it might be a good idea just to go see what they are doing. Maybe they're writing a book all about video games and they know nothing about them, so they need our help. Michael suggested, Emmerich sighed. Sure, I guess, they walked up the stairs and into Dawn's bedroom, where they saw tons of paper and pencils scattered around. Emmerich picked a paper up. On it, there was a nicely drawn design with a bunch of shapes and patterns. Wow! Emmerich murmured. Michael, come look at this, Michael walked over. Whoa! There are some really neat artists in this room. At this, Dawn and Skyline turned around and smiled. Mike, M, come look at this story. Skyline called. Michael read it and then passed it to Emmerich. It's about some girls called Coral and Rosalyn. Emmerich scanned the paper. It was pretty bad. It really did need some improving. Michael. Emmy.